Hello, hi friends. My name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my the other video about Intune tutorial. So today we are going to discuss about how we can configure co-management to integrate our MECM with Intune. So in my last video, I explained what is co-management, what are the ways we can use to configure the co-management and what are the features we get or the pros and cons configuring the co-management. So if you have not watched that video, please go back and watch that video to understand the basic level features and uh, the, the ways how we can configure the uh, co-management or how we can manage the device as a co-managed. So in this video, we are going to talk about how we can configure the co-management. So I am under the SSC, uh, MECM console. So under the administrator, you need to go with the cloud services under the cloud services here is the option co-management so before this starting this video let me tell you what we needed we need a uh, admin account which is having the admin rights in your intune i mean to say your user account should be part of the intune administrator to configure your the co-management so this is the one thing Another thing is like uh, your uh, client setting should be configured, but that will seen in the coming video. And when you are completely managing your co-management, completely utilizing the co-management, you should be integrate your the on-premises AD with the Azure AD. Like I mean to say, it should be a hybrid Azure AD. So anyway, that part should be taken care by the uh, Azure AD team or the AD team when they are migrating their active directory on premises active directory to Azure AD. And then you can completely configure your the co-management. So, but in this video specifically, we are going to talk about the how we can uh, create a connection in between your MECM and the Intune. So, let's see how it will work so under the co-management right click on the configure co-management and here is okay so here is the option like azure public cloud and azure us government cloud azure china cloud so what does it mean so this is for all the peoples like uh, all the intune users azure public cloud Azure US government cloud is specifically designed for the US government and Azure China cloud is, is specifically for the uh, like China cloud. So here is uh, in our scenario we are going to use Azure public cloud and let's do the sign signing here sign on. Okay, so here is already account is showing if it is not showing you the account because I have login here uh, in my the Intune. So that's why it's automatically detected and it's showing not sure why it is not showing. Okay. So if account is not there, you can uh, add your account and click and uh, you can uh, put your username and password to log in there. Okay, so you will be getting a uh, password or uh, the pop-up on your authenticate to approve the sign-in. Here is the option, enable the configuration manager admin center. Yes, we need it. And this part is uh, optional to uh, sync up your data, there's a separate web app to synchronize the configuration manager client data. So this is, we are not going to use it here enable automatically client and role for the co-management yes this is required so now let's go for the next and it's showing the pop-up it's a, like a create aad application so you want to create a azure ad uh, application so what does it mean uh, this mean is uh, if you log into the azure ad and you will be having a azure ad connector here so app registration so basically when you are entering to the Azure AD or the Azure Infra, so you should be having a um, app registration here. With that, it will uh, provide you the authentication. So let's see. Anyway, it will generate automatically here and we'll see what are the things got generated here when we have configured our co-management. 
so we need to click yes and here is the option like select device to upload to the mem so microsoft endpoint manager that means is the intune so if you want to enroll all the devices move all the data from your sscm i mean whatever the device are here in your as uh, devices so all the devices will move it to the intune if you want to move all these devices into your intune console so uh, you can use uh, this option if you don't want if you want some specific devices uh, like you are in a production and you want to do the some testing before going for the all the devices so you can create a specific collection here in your SSEM and then you can uh, you can select that collection here so by browsing it browse and you can select the specific collection so anyway in our scenario we are going to uh, select this to end all, all the devices so now let it go with the for the all the devices and here is the option to uh, utilize your endpoint analytics so let it be now click on next and again here is a enable co-management to enable co-management device configuration configure the automatic enrollment so where where this will uh, this thing will use so uh, if you have like a uh, as if you are enrolling a device uh, uh, the newly device so automatically your uh, the the client will push to there or your uh, device suppose you have uh, like a uh, collection a specific collection and uh, like five six uh, machines are there and you want to test it whether your machine will be co-managed or not that means is automatically Intune will enroll and the SSEM client also will install so that device will be managed as a co-managed device so if you want to do the pilot so you can just select it and you can define the collection here so that collection uh, uh whatever machines are there these all the machines uh, comes under the co-managed device like your intune will activate there and uh, your the ssm client will install there so here if you seen it just uh, it's taking little time not sure why let me click and go here okay so let's try it if you want to select a specific collection so you can click on the browse and you can assign a collection here so but uh, we want to do it for the all the machines because i have only the two machines here so uh, what what it will do if uh, it's like a intune auto enrollment uh, so whatever device you have in your ssm collection that will be automatically enrolled to the intune uh, intune console or the mem console so now let's go and the click on next so here is the workload list how you can uh, manage your workload in terms of uh, compliance policy device configuration and point protection so these are the workloads so whatever you or what are you are going to share with the, the intune and the ssem so uh, you want to manage the compliance policy with the ssem so you can let it be here or if you want to manage the compliance policy with intune so you can drag it here but if you want to do the testing so you can uh, drop it here and if you go to the next you will be having the option to the browse so the compliance policy you can click here and uh, then you can select the uh, the collection where you want to manage your the compliance policy like specific on the specific collections you want to manage that compliance policy if you want to manage for the all so you sh you should not uh, select as a pilot or if you want to uh, manage it with the, S, uh, the SSEM so you can go here go to the back and uh, you can define your the workload here in the similar way all, all other the policies will work like the device configuration endpoint protection resource access so it's up to you how you are going to configure your the co-management here so uh, I'm going to manage all these uh, profiles or, or these all the policies with the configuration manager so let me click on the next and let's see uh, this is for the again uh, yeah okay so here is no option uh, no option to browse because we are going to uh, manage completely with the uh, with all the devices available in the SSEM 
so let me click on next and uh, and now we are ready uh, with our the configuration so this this thing will just only enroll your all the devices into Intune so let's see before clicking on next how many devices we have here and uh, what is the name for them so here is a test it's it's uh, not working but it will enroll to there because the metadata will pull from SSEM to uh, your Intune so once it will be online then it will source green here let me go to the Intune part now and connection interrupted not sure why Okay, so let me see uh, what are the devices I have in Intune console. So I have three devices by this name, this name and this name. If I see in my the Azure portal, so what are the devices are available? Let me go to the device and let me verify how many devices are available here. So in my the Azure AD, I have uh, two to four to six, six devices are here. Uh, just all the devices are created for the different different type of testing. But in my the Indian console, I have the three devices which is showing like uh, some personal, corporate, personal. So uh, these are the devices available in my Intune console. Let me go back to my the SSEM. So in the SSEM, I have SSEM test, I have MECM and uh, AD. So AD is uh, not at all client, not installed in the my AD machine. So in the MECM and the test one I have. So now let me click OK uh, next and it's getting progress now. So what will happen? It will uh, it will take all the machines list. Uh, machines are available in uh, SSM console and it will uh, enroll into our Intune console. So it will take some time to process it. Uh, it will create a Azure AD connector, Azure AD connection and then it will show you the uh, wait let me go here and I can show you so first it will create a um, like a policy co-management policy then it will create a uh, app registration in your Azure AD so once the Azure app registration done then your all the data will move it to your the Intune console so let us wait for a couple of minutes to complete this process okay so now this uh, co-management profile is done and you can see in the messages green is the completed successfully so now you can go here and you can check your the uh, the config mgr policy what it's created so automatically it will create a name so you no need to define the name here uh, go to the property and uh, then you can check what are the settings you have configured there if you want any modification you can do that after after create this so we can just wait not sure why it is hanging it should not take much time okay so now let's right click here so this connection is created for the co-management And let's see the property come on okay so once you right click this window will open and if you want to change still like you don't want to manage all the all the devices you don't want to and all, all the devices from SSCM console to Intune so you can again you can change it here or if you want any changes from the enablement you can do it from here or if you need any of the changes in the workload so you can do it from here so now you can see in this connector has created here and let's see what are the things are created in the Azure services so cloud attached it's created here and uh, the active directory tenant let's see what the tenant is created here or not so this is what the tenant is created here so these all the things will be created these are things are like a separate and uh, that will talk in the my the coming videos 
so when you configuring your the commencement these all the three things will be creating like your active directory tenant that will create automatically azure services also will create automatically when you are configuring your the commencement so let me go to the azure active directory so azure ad i am under the azure ad and uh, let me go to the app registration so here under app re app registration as i told you it will create a app registration automatically so this app registration is created automatically if you want to see it you can just click here and you can see this is what the app registration is created here so this app registration is required to uh, handle your all the data from MECM to your MEM console I mean to say in Intune so now let us go to the Intune console so this is my the Intune console MEM console and uh, let me refresh this so still device has not reached here it will take some time um, uh, from this SSEM console so it's supposed to be here my two devices as I can see in here in the two devices are available uh, one is like uh, MECM or uh, SSEM test so two device should enroll into my Intune console so but still it's not done it will be taking some time to sync up the data and uh, then you can see in it here so let me try and uh, let me check out here device under the device whether it's reached to my the uh, the Azure or not so still it not reached to my the Azure portal uh, Azure AD or still it not reach to or enroll into my the Intune console so we have to wait some time let me refresh this data and uh, we can wait for some time to reflect the data here and we'll see how it will be showing here okay so now uh, let us refresh it again and uh, validate so now uh, I can see in here is it two devices are available that is uh, compliance by the see the config manager and see the config manager and it's showing like a corporate device here and it is like a config mgr so these two devices still are managed by the configuration manager so our the mecm console so still it's not a like a co-managed device it is i can say uh, these three devices are managed by Intune and these two devices are managed by our uh, config manager okay uh, I mean as with the SSEM so but to be make it as a co-managed we need to install our in uh, SSEM client on these device or the Intune we need to enroll this config manager uh, this config MGR client to the Intune so uh, these are still it's not co-managed because these devices are like managed by Intune and these managed by the config MGR it just the enrollment happen so it just only the reflecting your device whatever available in your uh, in your SSEM that the same device are reflecting here and these already it was exist here so now what we can do uh, let me show you the way how we can uh, make it as a co-management so deployment planning I showed you in my the last video uh, it's like a config uh, config MGR as an AD joint so if your client is there uh, SSEM client is there with the uh, AD joint like the normal machine uh, I can show you the example here uh, this is what the my machine and it's having the SSEM client installed here and but it is not a Azure AD join it's not enrolled there so if you go here and uh, see this this is the co-management is still it's showing it's a disabled but but this device this host name is showing in the Intune but still it's not a part of the co-management why because it's holding only the SSEM client and it's not enrolled into the Intune in the similar way I have a uh, device here I have a test machine here the this machine is enrolled to my the Intune console but uh, still SSEM client is not installed so still it's not a part of the co-management but yes our co-management part done and now how we can plan to uh to enrollment or the co-management that we'll see in the coming video 
but let's understand the scenario what we are going to do it so there will be the three scenario only uh, first is like config uh, manager agent uh, and it is a part of a your active directory domain join what I shows you right now so what we need to do config mgr agent join aad join so that machine the device should be joined into the azure ad join what is missing there for the co-management if it is a device in on-premises ad and the SSM client is installed so that means is a intune part is missing that will enroll into intune and then the device will work as a co-management now the second scenario is intune mdm uh, work group or the aad join so if you have already one machine there uh, it's like this this devices these all the three devices are uh, part of the co-management uh, sorry part of the intune but it's still they are not the co-management because uh, this client SSM client is still not installed on that device so how we can do that uh, that I will be showing you in the my coming video so and uh, how you can install what are the ways you can use or the new devices how you can enroll uh, if you have uh, if you are using a autopilot to enroll a new device and how you can uh, do the um, I mean how you can uh, configure a co-managed device when you are using the uh, autopilot so guys these all the three scenario I'm going to show you in the my uh, coming video so thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video